Hello, I'm Joshua Carr, and today we're going to talk about how to build a simple amortization schedule. You could use this to do a mortgage, uh, car payments, student loans, you get the idea. So, built a little structure, the five items we're going to need. I've got month payment, principal payment, interest payment, and balance along the top, and I'm running it for 360 months. So, here goes. $100,000 at a 6 percent interest rate. So the monthly rate, if 6% is annual, is 6% divided by 12. Final balance is zero. If I'm running it for 30 years, then that's 30 times 12. If I have a monthly rate, I need a number of months. I need to match apples to apples, oranges to oranges, so to speak. The payment will be the PMT function, the monthly rate, the number of months, the present value, in other words, the amount of money I'm starting with presently, the future value, in other words, the amount of money I'll have in the future, in other words, the loan will be paid off in full, or in other words, the FV will be zero. So there's our monthly payment, $5.99.55. Okay. Here's where it becomes fun. I'm going to start with a balance of $100,000. That's the end of month zero, in other words, the beginning of the analysis. The payment will be $599.55. I want that payment to be fixed. In other words, I want to be able that when I drag it down that it doesn't move. So I'll put some dollar signs on the D and the 9. I could either manually type that in, or if I'm on a Windows machine, I could press F4. If I'm a Macintosh, I believe you press Command-T. That automatically puts the dollar signs there. The interest will be last month's balance times this month's, month's interest. I'll throw some dollar signs on the interest. So the interest rate will remain fixed and linked, whereas the balance will float. I need to make that a negative because it's money we're paying. So I'll throw a minus sign in front of that thing. That means the principal payment will be the payment minus the interest. And the balance will be last month's balance adjusted by this month's principal payment. Now here's the fun part. I can take those four cells. I can drag them a little bit. And as you can see, the principal is starting to go up. The interest is going down. The balance is going down. Here's the part I really like, though. If I take it and I drag it all the way down to 360 months and I let go, there it is. Uh, easiest way to know it's working is if you run it 360 months, when you get to the end of 360, it should have a balance of zero. And that is how you build a simple amortization schedule. Uh, for this and more, you can always go to my website at www.kahrrealestate.com. You can also email me if you have questions, comments, what have you, or you have requests for additional videos at info at carrealestate.com. Uh, I will also have a series of follow-on videos to make this amortization schedule more complex. We have a very simple schedule right here. I'm going to add in other things like prepayments and interest-only periods, but I'm going to get to that in later videos. For now, this is a simple amortization schedule. Thank you.